everybody. Welcome to Tuesday's House of Games. Lovely to have you back all week. I'm joined by four famous faces. You know what happens by now. I'm going to ask them a series of questions. They'll get some right. They'll get some wrong. At the end of the week, someone wins a trophy. It's as simple as that. Shall we meet our players this week? There's some great shoes going on as well, by the way. Our players are Sinita. Hello. Maisie Smith. Ooh. Jimmy Famarewa. And William Hansen. Hello, one. Hello, all. Oh, Jimmy, what a win yesterday. <sighs> Still coming down from, uh, yeah, what was an uh, unexpectedly uh, good win. The first couple of rounds is super close, and then, whew, yeah, like a, like a rocket ship. Yeah, just kind of trying to get on the sweet spot between buzzing in quickly and actually knowing it. And, which, you know, <laughs> see, is, uh, that's what this game is all about. <laughs> yeah. uh, now, William. Yes. William, you shipped a few points in the last round because you did the brave thing and buzzed in, which is what you've got to do. Are you going yes. to keep that tactic up? No. <laughs> <laughs> that is a tactic that has been are very gonna, quickly scrapped. Are you going to go back into your shell? <laughs> well, yes, but then you don't win points. So you're, mm. it's, it's stuck. But it's only that last round that you can lose points. Yeah. So hopefully I'll buzz in quickly for the others and exactly. then hold and then, back on And the leave last. that one well alone. Exactly, yes. Uh, Maisie, your lovely partner Max George has been on and uh, he came fourth on a lot of days. And I came third. And you came third yesterday. Yep. That's good. Can you relax now for the rest of the week? I mean, a win's a win. So I actually am just going to relax. Take oh, so it. you're describing it as a win? As a win. Did I... I won, right? I suppose you beat Max. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I suppose in some ways you lost to Jimmy. I don't mean but... to take your win away, but I... I did win yeah. that. Hey, hey, listen, there were two winners here. We were all winners in a way. <laughs> Here's the weekly leaderboard. We'll see uh, Jimmy in first place. But Maisie's sort of also in first place, if you think yeah, about uh, it. Yeah, a win's a win. Um, Sunita, now, yesterday Jimmy won a prize. He won those terrible 80s fingerless gloves, yeah. which you also had your eyes on. I did. Um, but should we see if we can find you a prize today? Yes, please. Okay, the winner on today's show can take one of these. Uh, oh! You've got the hot water bottle, the onesie. The decanter, the playing cards, or the cycle helmet. What do you fancy? The decanter. Yeah, that's got Sunita written all over it, hasn't tequila it? Tequila. Yeah, there you in go. In the decanter. Uh, Maisie. I like it too. Decanter as well. That's that okay. is nice. Beautiful, <laughs> Jimmy. Does the decanter come filled with, you know, or is, oh, it, or is oh, it empty? It comes filled, but not with something you'd want to drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just to balance it out. Yeah, William, which is the classiest of those? Uh, oh, gosh, well, it's so hard to pick, but I might go for the <laughs> He's one... He's so good, William, isn't he? He's so good, you know, he lives <laughs> that politeness. Yeah. I might go for the onesie, because this will come as a shock. I've never worn a onesie. No! Oh. Today might be the day I start. You, you do surprise so me. And if I win it, I could wear it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that would be lovely. William in a onesie on Wednesday? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> there we go. Um, listen, shall we get on and play Tuesday's House of Games? It's a lot of fun yesterday. It's going to be the same today. Our first round is... Hidden in plain sight, Sunita, we will start with you. I am going to read you a question. The answer will be somewhere inside the question. The actual <laughs> letters of the answer will be there, hidden away. Helpful. Uh, we just have to find them, mm. OK? Your first category is parts oh. of the body. So we're trying to find a part of the body, OK? okay? And it will be somewhere within this question. It will be the answer to the question as well. You can hear this organ of the body by using a stethoscope. The heart. The heart. And where is the heart? Hear this. Hear this. Absolutely. Heart. Maisie, mm. I have one for you. Same vibe. OK. OK, a part of the body. This part of the leg does start high up, but it goes down to the knee. Thigh. Start high. Start high. How about that? <laughs> uh, Jimmy, a part of the body for you. A person diagnosed with rhinitis or sinusitis would have a condition affecting this part of the face. Uh, nose and diagnosed. Oh, yeah. Well done. I knew it was nose. I couldn't see where it was. Oh. Well done, Jimmy. William for four out of four. OK. Can we do it a part of the body? If an engagement is in the offing, eradicate worry about ring size by measuring around this body part. Uh, it's finger, and it's between offing and eradicate. Offing and eradicate. Well done. Oh, wow! You guys don't muck about. What's this round called? This is called Hidden in Plain Sight. Hidden in Plain Sight. Favourite round. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. I like well, this. I have another question for you. Oh, With good. a different category. So okay. we're not doing body parts now. Oh. 
with jam and biscuits. <laughs> okay. That's good. Yeah. That's just as good as body parts. Yeah. Isn't better. It? We know. Better in, in some ways. Better. <laughs> You're right. Here is yours, Sunita. Which biscuit is hidden here? If you find dry biscuits hard to digest, I've some advice for you. Dip this crumbly treat in some tea. Digestives. And where is it? Oh, digestive. <laughs> yeah. And even you can put the S from some for digestives. Yeah. Can't oh, you? Yeah. yes. Good. Yeah, if you want to. Digestive or digestives. This is going suspiciously well. No, we're so... Something's going to go wrong at some point, I'm almost certain. Maisie, a biscuit. Don't say that while looking at me. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. Uh, here's yours. If you want an oaty biscuit, don't fire up the hob. Nobody makes their own. Hobnob. I mean, that I seems mean, quite I easy. <laughs> they knew I was doing this round. <laughs> I should say, and where is Hobnob? Where can you find it? Hob, hob nobody. and nobody. <laughs> hobnob. <laughs> Jimmy, I've hidden the biscuit. Can you find it? I've never managed to outgrow a fervent passion for this light, crisp biscuit, often served with ice cream. Ooh. Oh, OK. I got it. Wafer. Wafer. Outgrow a fervent. Well done, a wafer. I speak wafer. Nice it done. It was close. <laughs> William, in terms of mm. etiquette, yes. uh, is there any biscuit etiquette? If someone brings in a plate of biscuit, who goes first? Who takes the last biscuit? Oh. Uh, well, the host should offer all the guests the biscuit first. Yeah. Uh, and you just take the biscuit closest to you rather than sort of lunge for the one at the back. No way. Yes. What, even if they're different biscuits? Oh, no. In that instance, yes. If you want the, the jammy dodger, then you could, you could go and grab that one. <laughs> OK, good. But if they're all the same, if they're yes. all a plate of shortbread, you get the shortbread closest to you. Mm. But don't dunk. Don't you don't dunk. dunk. No, in the privacy of your own home with the curtains closed, you can <laughs> yeah. do what you like. Do what you in like, yeah. Polite society, we don't dunk. No dunking. No. Oh, no. I didn't know that. Mm. Let's take a look at yours. You'll never perturb our bon vivant friends by offering them this chocolatey biscuit. Oh. Uh, it's Bourbon, and it's between Perturb, Hour and Bond. Lovely. Talking of royal families, Bourbon. Yes. Absolutely. Another William classic. Was. Bourbon biscuit. Well done, everybody. That literally, nothing Smash troubled anybody there. Beautifully done. Let's have a look at the scoreboard, and it makes good reading for everybody, cos uh, full marks, two oh. points each. Well done, everybody. Yay. Let's get on and play today's pairs game, shall we? It is... Great minds link alike. Everyone's in last place today. Um, William, why don't you choose a partner? Um, well, I don't want to move, so I'm going to pick Jimmy. There you go. You're picking Jimmy. So, same teams as yesterday. Sunita and Maisie, you're a team. Dream Jimmy team. and We're William, strong. you are a team. Uh, now, in this round, I'm going to show you three song titles. OK, they will each have a missing word. Once you work out what links the missing words, buzz in and tell me the link. OK? Your partner will then have to fill in all the gaps. Here are your first three. The Lady in Blank by Krista Burr, Big Blank Taxi by Joni Mitchell, Blank Garden by Laura and Vula. Sunita. Colours. Colours is correct. Now, Maisie, for the point, you have to get all three of those colours, please. Right. The Lady in Red. Lady in Red, Krista Burr. Big Black Taxi. I'm going to hand it over to the gents, I'm afraid. Oh, Jimmy so and sorry. William, I can you buzz was... in and fill those three gaps? Jimmy. Uh, the Lady in Red, Big Yellow Taxi and Green Garden. I'm so sorry. Well done. A point to the gents. Nicely done. Let's do another one, shall we? What connects these three missing words? Blue Blank by New Order, Blank Girl by Blondie, Funky Blank by Dave featuring Freddo. Yes, Jimmy. Days of the Week. Days of the Week is correct. William, for a point, can you fill in those three songs? Blue Monday by New Order, Saturday Girl by Blondie, and... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just really going to just savour William saying it's this too. last bit. Funky Sunday. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Does anyone on the other team want to have a go? I don't even know if I have it, but Sunita. I'm buzzing. Blue Monday by New Order. I want to say Sunday Girl. Sunday Girl by Blondie, you're saying? And, and I'm going to say Funky Friday. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Is it correct? Absolutely oh, right. Blue hey. Monday, Sunday well Girl, done. Funky Friday. Let's do our next one. What connects these three, please? Cry Me a Blank by Julie London. Islands in the Blank, Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton. Blank Drive, Lighthouse Family. 
Yes, that is William. Um, bodies of Water. Bodies of Water is absolutely right, William. Jimmy, for the point, can you fill in those three songs? Cry Me A River by Julie London, Islands in the Stream by Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton, and Ocean Drive oh, man. by The Lighthouse. Is it correct? <laughs> it is correct. <laughs> you can tell by Tanita's old man <laughs> that you got yourself a point. Well <laughs> done. She was water. poised there, waiting for me to get Ocean Drive. You won't have that one. <laughs> uh, next one. What connects these three missing words? Red, Red, Blank by UB40, Blank in the Jar by Thin Lizzy, Black, Blank by All Saints. Yes, that's Jimmy. Um, alcohol, types of alcohol. It is incorrect, I'm afraid. Mm. They are not all types of alcohol. Maisie. Beverages. Beverages, drinks. <laughs> that's, that's a nice way of saying uh, drinks. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, drinks is correct. Sunita, for the point, oh. can you fill in those gaps? <laughs> Thanks. Um, red word wine. Um, whiskey in the jar and black coffee. Is correct. Yes. Well done. Red, red wine, whiskey in the jar, and black coffee. <laughs> Next one. What connects these three, please? A blank with no name by America. She blank by Shakira. Blank starts by Nana Cherry. Jimmy. I am going to say animals. Animals is absolutely right. <laughs> William. Can he fill in? It doesn't look like he can fill in the answers, Jimmy, but we'll we'll find out. <laughs> well, it's she wolf. By Shakira. OK. There's a man who knows his Shakira. Yes. <laughs> As for the other two, I have absolutely no idea, but I'll give it a guess. A leopard with no name. OK. And cat stance. No. It is not, I'm afraid. Oh, what a shock. Do you want to buzz uh, in uh, on the other team? Yes, please. Zanita. Even though we only know one for sure. So She Wolf by Shakira. Buffalo Stance. Oh, Buffalo Stance. By Nina yep. Cherry. And. Do you think it's a horse or a dog? Oh, horse I sounds it's... good. We've got She Wolf, we've got Buffalo Stance. I'll tell you, they're both right. Yes. So it comes down to this one. Okay. Horse, horse sounds, I think, more appropriate. Should we go horse? Yes. Is it a horse with no name? It is a horse with no yeah! name. Well done. Well, done. Yeah. well done. Final question in this round Blank Girl by Ed Sheeran, Blank Calling by The Clash, Blank Calling by Falco. Yes, Jimmy. Cities? Correct. <laughs> William. This, this is where we're going wrong. Uh, <laughs> I know. L London Calling by The Clash. London Calling, maybe. Oh, Dublin Girl. And um, Ipswich. Ipswich Calling. <laughs> so is it Dublin, London and Ipswich? <laughs> it is not, I'm afraid. Does anyone want to buzz in on the other team? Is it Glasgow or something? I'm going to put us all out of our misery, yes, I think. Please. Jimmy, do you, know, do you know the rest of those? I, I'm struggling on the last one, to be fair, so I don't think we'd have had the points if it okay, the good. other way around, but it's Galway Girl. Galway Girl, Girl. Girl. absolutely. London calling. Glass. I'm guessing maybe it's Vienna calling, because mm. Falco, he was Austrian, wasn't he? Oh. Yeah. Ah, yeah, the end yeah, of the calling by wow. Falco. Well done. If you've got that at home, it's the end of the round. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, shall we? Two rounds down on Tuesday's House of Games. Jimmy and William, you have four points each. Maisie and Sunita in the lead with five. How about that? Unbelievable. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Let's play round three straight away, shall we? Let's see what it's going to be. It is. Well done if you said that at home, a round that uh, our viewers at home help us with. Um, this time we sent them a list of films and they had to email back three words that they associated with those films, OK? You are now going to see a word cloud of the words that they mentioned, starting from very obscure ones until the big ones at the end. So buzz in as soon as you know which films our viewers are giving you clues to here. And thank you to all our viewers for uh, helping us out with this. Husband, danger. So neat has gone very early, what do you think? Edward Scissorhands. Is it Edward Scissorhands? It's not, I'm afraid. Let's see some more words. Yes, Maisie's gone. Oh. I think I just saw the word hand. I just went for handmaid's tail. Handmaid's tail? Tail. Is incorrect. Oh, they pro it probably wouldn't have a word from the I title. Didn't, I didn't thought that, yeah. Um, Jimmy going. Ghost? Ah. Oh. Is it ghost? It is ghost. Oh, wow. Well done. How about that? How 
<laughs> I love a big Hollywood film where the biggest word is pottery. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't enough. There aren't <laughs> enough, are there? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> next film, which film is this, please? Typewriter, theatre, poet costumes, flamboyant, spectacular singing. Yes, Maisie. Okay, I went. I was going for the Greatest Showman, but Greatest I don't Showman. Think that's it now. So there's a lot of those that do apply to it. Uh, yes, William. Is it Moulin Rouge? Is it Moulin Rouge? On my march, yes, well done. France Windmill Dancing Musical Paris Moulin Rouge, well played, William. Next film. Road doesn't give us a lot. <laughs> American Chew. Meeting Adventure Truck Wyoming. Yes, Jimmy. E.T. Is it E.T.? I think I'm wrong. It's not E.T., I thought you had it there. Uh, let's see some more. Mountain Potato, <laughs> Space. Uh, Maisie. Paul? Is it Paul? Is it incorrect, I'm afraid. Danita? Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Oh. It is. Oh, well well done. done. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Nicely played. Uh, the next three are all going to be TV programmes, so we sent our viewers the names of TV programmes. They sent back words that they associated with them. What's this first one? Breakfast factions, money, tension underhand, conniving, psychological, devious. Oh. Yes, William. Is it the traitors? Oh, yeah, must be. Is it the traitors? It is. Well done. It was fringe. Yeah, fringe. <laughs> yes. That's Claudia, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, very good. Next one. Fiction, friendship, surreal. More. Jimmy. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Nice early bars, Jimmy. Oh. Well played. <laughs> Demo Gorgon and 80s. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, final question in this round. Which TV programme is this, please? Beginning. Women, London, eek. Wow. Mm. Funny, romantic, reality, lads. Yes, William. It's first dates. Is it first dates? Wow. Good work. It is first dates. Well done. <laughs> well done. Can I take a guess that you're the only person in the history of House of Games to get the question from um, Peter Noster? Yes, because that's the, the rest of <laughs> That's where the rest of it is, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was right up William Street. Thank you. Uh, well played, William. It's the end of the round. Thank you very much to the people at home as well. If you ever want to take part in that, I just put it on my Twitter sometimes when we're, when we're looking for contributions. So just keep an eye out and you can help us as well. Uh, two rounds to go on Tuesday. Jimmy was our champion yesterday. Hugh's going to win today. It's pretty close, isn't it? Maisie with five. Jimmy and Sunita, six points each. Our leader is William Hanson with seven. <laughs> How about that? Two points between everybody here. Our next round is... I'm terrible at dating. If you will take your tablets out, please, everybody. I'm going to give you a series of events from world history. You have to write me down the year in which you think they happened, and whoever is closest wins. I bet your history knowledge is good, William. Because your royal knowledge uh, and... Well, yes, if, it, if it's sort of along that line, it's fine. But if it was on sport, if it's on anything else, politics, not great. If it's on anything else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, the first thing I'd like you to give me a date for is this. Oh, talking of sports. The year in which the first London Marathon took place. What do you think at home on this? When was the first London Marathon? OK, everyone's in. Sunita, do you remember it happening? Not really. OK. That's why I've said maybe it happened here. Maisie, what are you thinking? When you said, do you remember it happening? Yes. Did that mean it's happened within your existence? Oh, I can't really give anything away. Oh. But, but yes, very much it's happened. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm way off then. 1930. I'd... Well, that's, that's a great compliment that you think I'm <laughs> younger than 90 years old. <laughs> Thank you. 1930, says Maisie. Jimmy, I'm not what that are you saying? <laughs> yeah, I, I was just trying to think in terms of 
the anniversaries that it's celebrated relatively recently. I've run the marathon a couple of times. Have you? Should know. Always good to drop that in there. Yeah. Wow. Even, when people, to tell people even when people it. don't ask. <laughs> That's I, cool. You know, we're a bad sometimes. It just what's, it, what's your best time? I did it in 3.52. That's pretty quick. So it was all right, yeah. yeah. I've gone 73. 73, says Jim. Um, yeah. Three entirely different decades so far. William, where are you? Well, we're about to have a fourth. Excellent. Uh, if in doubt, go Victorian. So I've gone... 80, wow. 89. I'm going to have a guess at this. I remember it very well. Ah, right. <laughs> I would guess 81, 82 mm, yeah. would be my Maybe guess. It was like... so exciting when it first came out. And they shut down the whole of London. Um, let's take a look. In what year did the first London Marathon take place? Who scored a point? Oh. 81, oh, it was. On. The point goes to Jimmy. Well done, Jimmy. You're eight years out, Sunita. You are nine years out. Oh. Almost. Oh, oh, man. oh, man. 1981, well done if you got that at home. Let's take a look at the next one, see if it happened in my lifetime. I think this was in my lifetime. Yeah. Um, the last monarch of the House of Stuart is crowned. Oh, William's happy with that, isn't he? Mm. Ish. Yeah. Um, Maisie, what are you thinking on this? That. 1750. I don't have much of an explanation for it. That, listen, I know exactly what you're thinking is, which is that sounds like a year. Yeah. From the olden days. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> from it way back and, when. And it really does. Jimmy, what are you saying? Yeah, a real stab in the dark, and I'm not far off that. I just kind of... I, I was trying to go through eras of uh, what... Uh, the people that lived in that time were known as go back, think Elizabethan and Edwardian and Georgian and things like that. But then it just kind of was. Then he just dark. Went, This sounds like a year. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. sounds like a year. It's 1650. Yeah, William, do you have specialist knowledge here? Not I really. I should do, not you really. Do, but, okay. but sort of, we're along the same lines. Mm. I've gone for 1701. <gasps> oh, He's bang in the middle of the two of you. How about that? Almost exactly in the middle. Mm. 1701, says William. <laughs> Sunita, what are you saying? Oh, dear. See, I thought it was the Queen or oh, okay. around there because you said about William, so I was thinking if she was 19, 1925, maybe it was around. you're saying. OK. Yeah. And what do you think at home on this one? Do you know this one? You are a royal expert. Let's take a look, shall we? In what year was the last monarch of the House of Stuart crowned? Whoa! Oh. William, oh. how about that? 1702, very well done if you said that at home. We've got close to that. Final question in this round. The Dutch painter Vincent van Gogh is born. When was that? Huh. What? Everyone is in. Jimmy, what are your thoughts here? <laughs> you know, obviously, we think of van Gogh as being quite a sort of modern painter in some ways, but I think he was kind of ahead of his time. Um, thinking about the life that he depicted, I thought it was very much not really 20th century, but they're not that far off that. So I kind of went in the zone of okay. there. I think I've probably gone a little bit too recent, too close to the... OK, to the, to 1879, the 1900s. Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, William, you before, you after? I've gone a bit before, but similar thinking. So I like how we're... we're mm -hmm. by, Same zone. Yeah, sending those vibes. Oh, yeah. So I've gone for 1839. 1839, says William Sunita, Vincent van Gogh. I'm a bit worried that I've gone too late because I'm remembering paintings I saw in Paris and I thought it was kind of early to mid-1900s. And so you've gone for...? I've gone for 1898. 1898. Maisie, what are you thinking? It's one of my favourite Doctor Who episodes, uh, is when they go back to see Vincent van Gogh, and I'm disappointed in myself. I can't remember what era it was. Uh, but similar ballpark. OK, that's good. Uh, but I've gone for a little bit before. Before. Um, OK, 1820 for yeah. Maisie. So all in the same century. What do you think at home on this one? Shall we find out who's won the last point of the round? When was Vincent van Gogh born? 1853, William. Oh, oh nice. Well done, William. Oh, played. Um, that round ends. We did all right on that round, I thought. Yeah, yeah. Okay. interesting yeah, as well. Yeah, bits away, please, everybody. Well, well done. Good one work, round man. to go. Just one round of Answer Smash before we find Tuesday's champion. The leaderboard looks like this. Four points between everybody. Oh, nice Maisie really. with five, Sunita six, Ooh. Jimmy seven, William a two-point oh. lead with nine. Oh, How about God. that? 
we mustn't forget how many points you shipped in the last round last time. Yes, though. this is where that nine changes to something quite low. You've got to be brave. Our final round, of course, is... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please, everyone. Point for a correct answer, point off. Don't forget for an incorrect answer. Your first category today is... Reality TV stars. Those will be the pictures. Which character did Michael Crawford play in the sitcom Some Mothers Do Have Them? Yes, Jimmy. Oh. Frank Spencer Matthews. Frank Spencer Matthews. Absolutely. Frank Spencer, Spencer Matthews. Frank Spencer Matthews. And next one. The energy regulator of the UK government is known by what acronym? Yes, William. It's off Gemma Collins. Off Gemma Collins. Oh. It is off Gemma and Gemma Collins. Off Gemma Collins. Next category. Actors. Those will be the pictures. Sam Ryder came second for the UK at the 2022 Eurovision Song Contest with which song? Jimmy. Space Manthony Hopkins. Space Manthony Hopkins. <laughs> Correct, well done. <laughs> Spaceman Anthony Hopkins. That's crazy. Next clue, next picture. Which 1967 film musical stars Julie Andrews as a young woman seeking wealth in the 1920s? Sunita. Oh, no, and this is going to be something off if I get it wrong, right? OK, thoroughly... Thoroughly modern Millie Macintosh? <laughs> thoroughly modern Millie Macintosh? <laughs> Not, I'm afraid. Oh. Yes, that is Maisie. Thoroughly modern Millie Bobby Brown. Yes. Thoroughly right. modern Millie Bobby Brown. Oh. It is. Well stolen yeah, as well. I'll take what I can get at this Nicely point. Done. Uh, <laughs> oh. No more categories. We are done for the day. Well played, everybody. On Monday, Jimmy was our champion. William had a little lead going into that. Jimmy was buzzing in. All sorts going on. Uh, let's find out, shall we? Who is our champion on Tuesday? William Hansen oh. is our champion on Tuesday. Well done. Very you relieved. See, you see how a man with impeccable etiquette takes a win. Mm -hmm. He's just said, there, uh, there's no fist pump. No. There's no, no. fist pump. Uh, William, no fist pump, but a prize. Ye yes. Which of these would you like? Well, I did earlier say the onesie and that I would wear it on Wednesday, but I didn't think I was going to win. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Someone's bluff has been called. <laughs> yes. Um, I will go for the playing cards, please. The playing cards. He's so polite, but what's really going on there? He's just thinking all of your prizes are terrible. I want the smallest one. <laughs> uh, two days down, let's take a look at uh, our weekly leaderboard. Three days to go. Sinita and Maisie. You have four points each, William with five, Jimmy with seven, so three points between the lot of you. Super close. Shall we join battle again tomorrow? Let's yeah. do it. For that ever so much. See you yes. tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow as well on the House of Games. I mean, William's literally thinking, which recycling does this go on? No, no, it's a nice, nice conversation starter. <laughs> That's so polite. When dinner your, parties your prize, are flagging. It's a really nice conversation starter. <laughs>